save y'all some money. So you know how you got when you get pregnant and yeah. you, and you want to get an abortion yeah. and you don't have really have the money. So you you know them people that do it at home in the basement and stuff. I, so I don't, don't know, know nothing about, about that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you watch Seedly, I mean, if you watch Color Purple. I did. And you saw how she went to the a- alley and got her abortion, did in the alley? Did you, you know what? I was not on the no, 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 no. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, what's next? I mean, you know, you, we see you. So, is the music next? Uh, can, what can we look forward to with your with, with the way you're moving on? For either one of you guys. Okay, so I have a um a film that I'm getting ready to do. Uh, that's gonna get ready to come next, and that got something to do with a little bit more. Now the thing about it is, I'm gonna do my. Should I even say that? Should I even tell them about the uh the video? What video? The no, video no. I'm getting ready to do. Okay, management Ooh. said I can't talk about the video, Ooh. but F for baby daddy. Is fuck baby, oh, the fuck a baby daddy song video that I did with uh, my homegirl. Did you did you guys see that that I've been promoting? It's a song called Fuck a Baby Daddy. And the only reason that I'm talking about Fuck a Baby Daddy is because I'm trying to like kind of like show a little bit of other stuff. I don't want to just show everybody my gangsterness and my cripplism mm-hmm. and all that stuff. We need to talk about some other stuff. So I was I came up with a song called Fuck a Baby Daddy and that's getting ready to come out. We filmed that with Half Pint Films too. Mm. And Featuring I Featuring Barbary. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh yes. yeah. And I played Bernie Mac. Oh really? wow. Mm-hmm. That's hard. Bree. I, c- c- I got a question though. I got a question. So um, I know that before in our previous interview you were talking about um, that you weren't interested in females. Right. And they just didn't do nothing for you. <laughs> but I found out today that you have a son. Mm-hmm. How did that happen then? Are you here today? Okay, but making all that noise back there. But how did it happen if you're not interested in females? It takes a man and mm-hmm. woman to have a baby. So what happened? So I did a um, ghetto at home in the closet uh, baby making program. <laughs> um, my baby was born... Uh, by doing a kind of like a turkey baster procedure, so we did a at home procedure. We didn't do the expensive IVF. We got we did, went, you know, but they have all types of different. Because no, you, how you get it in there? I'm I'm gonna get to with it. a turkey baster. For example, do you know how? Really? I'm going to explain you, you to you. You did it like with the thing? Now, a lot of people don't know this, but there's... <laughs> <laughs> and he was even surprised, too. Let so, me hear this. This is so, good stuff. I ain't know y'all. How you do it ghetto? Let's go. So, so I, you know, like... You might be saving a lot of people some money. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save y'all some money. So, you know how you got, when you get pregnant mm-hmm. and you, and you want to get an abortion mm-hmm. and you don't have really have the money, so you you know them people that do it at home in the basement and stuff? So, I don't, I don't know, know nothing about, about that. that. <laughs> Well, if you watch Seedly, I mean, if you watch Color Purple. I did. And you saw how she went to the a- alley and got her abortion, did, in the alley. Did you, you know what? I was not on the no, damn no, I, mean, I mean, four girls. I mean, four color girls. Okay. Four color girls. Yeah, thank you. Cause I know, I'm like, damn, crazy. Who went and got what? Did, did you want Seedly? What, Sugar Avery? I mean, what the hell are you saying? So, go ahead. I mean, color, I mean uh, four color girls. So... Did you watch that? Y'all Hell no, I ain't watched it. Plus, this girl that had to go get an abortion in the alley. She okay. saved some money. She didn't go to the doctor. So, Which so, is dangerous. Y'all do not do that. But this is not dangerous. Y'all can do this. So, all you need is a baby mama that's willing to be willing to do it participate that's we willing to participate her husband okay. has to be willing to participate too because he participated he participated so uh, I went I went over there <laughs> I went over there for a couple of days and um, they had this little syringe that they wanted me to put stuff inside okay and sperm yeah okay yes semen and what'd you do you went in there and did it yes and, and then then I brought it back out and I gave it to her, and she put it up her ass. And that's what happened. And that's how my baby got here. Damn! And, uh, you know, you, it has to actually get in there. Right. So you can't just put it up there. So after that, her husband fucked her and and, he- and helped it get up in there and stuff. And then that's how the baby... Damn! Man, I ain't but never heard nothing like that in my life, I never heard nothing like that either. But if that's the case, and her husband had sex with her afterwards... He how has you a vasectomy. So- Oh, so it can't be his. Yes, he has a protector me, and 
Um, I did a DNA test on my baby. I did the one that you could do while the baby, while you're while pregnant. pregnant. And I had, we went all together and got one. And then I took the baby by myself to go get a DNA test with me and just him. And all of them was 99.9. So, okay, wait was a minute. This, wait a choice, damn minute was this your choice? Wait you wanted to have a child? Did you have to pay him? Yes, they needed some money at the time. And that was. Did you get money. a good deal? Yes. Why did you want a child? Because it was really like a joke. It, uh, it was like really like a joke at the time. Okay. It was a joke at the time, and like I really didn't think that it was gonna work. I was just doing some <clears throat> shit. I thought her husband was cute. How much did and, you pay? Um, I just liked being around them. How much did you pay? It was twenty thousand dollars. Damn, that nigga walked off with that white was pushing it up. But you know, it cost, but it you cost way more. You saw the, the ladies who came on here. Yeah, 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 they got We've 60 had surrogate some moms, thousand. moms real? and yeah. it was sixty thousand dollars. That's how much they yeah, get paid 50, for one child. The amount of money that you get for surrogate is not enough. Okay, let's start there. To even take care of your family or anybody if you pass away. Mm -hmm. It's just not enough. Yeah. So but I would think that um wait, wait, well, wait, hold wait, on. Wait, I would think I'll, that if you're if you're gonna do something like this, number one, mm -hmm. up your insurance policy. I agree with that. So ride range in Texas. You be spending a lot of money. How much is oh, it? Yeah, how, much, we all do. <laughs> how much do you normally ahead, get ahead. paid being a surrogate, first I of all? I think statistics say between thirty to 60000 Okay. Because when in, I Google um, it, it said 25000 and up. Well, we're in Texas, though. Oh, yeah, oh. Yeah. So the state, it differs it, it differs in state, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. In state. And, of course, this is not even the highest one you can live in. No. Right? In California. No, no, yes. California, definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, and if you carry twins, so you, got you can cheap. charge more. Yeah, but see, mind y'all, I, when, I, when the baby, when, she, when I found out she was pregnant, I was like, wait a minute. Like, this really worked. Like, I was just doing some shit. Like, I didn't really think that the baby was going to come. Had you already given them the money? No, I gave it to them when the baby got here. Mm. And after the test to know that it's your child. Yes. After all that was done, I was good. And the baby came and he been living with me. So did you have full custody? I have 100% custody. She has, she see him from time to time. It ain't even like a thing to like where I'm keeping him from her, but like, you know. Yeah, because she, she's still the mom. Yeah, she do her thing and I do my thing and I, we still friends and I see them all the time and whenever I go over there, the baby come with me. Sometimes I leave him over there. I be wishing she would take his ass. You, no. <laughs> <laughs> Say, so you really did that, man? Wow. <laughs> that so is crazy. Ain't never, I ain't never heard nothing like that in my life on Ball Talk 101. <laughs> you yeah. done shocked the world. Yeah. yeah. Ball Talk, no word. <laughs> Say, you did that at, I mean you just did that over the house in the black market mm -hmm. yeah. yeah we actually got some of the material oh let me be quiet where did y'all get this idea from like anybody else out there does something like this no uh, but I mean I I don't it, it can happen I mean I'm pretty sure maybe somebody else has done it somewhere but I actually you know it's something that people talk about but you, you know that thing that you talk about but you really don't never do this one of them things mm. but I went ahead and did it I didn't I mean I'm, it's not my dream to be a father like I didn't like oh my god I have to have a baby like I just want a child of my own no I was not trying to be that but you know it, it stuff just happened and once you became a father, um, what does that do for you? When I became a father, it didn't do nothing. Our baby is just here, and we raising him, and he going to be Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.